Hi, I'm Neil Evans with the Harkin Tech team. I'm here to walk through a very basic repair of a Harkin winch handle. When the lock no longer works and no longer springs back like it should, the repair is quite simple. We have a kit available to take care of this repair and I'll show you how to do it. You'll notice that a Harkin winch handle is broken when the knob no longer springs back as needed. The the way the repair is conducted is you get yourself one of the repair kits, part number BK4517. This will contain all the parts you need to complete this repair. Open up the kit. You're going to need three simple tools, an appropriate size punch, a vice grips or needle nose pliers, and a hammer. The way we're going to start this is we're going to get a punch to fit this size hole. I'm going to take the punch. There's a roll pin located in this hole. We're going to drive that roll pin out. A couple good wraps with the hammer and the pin has started to come out. As you can see. Once we remove, have the pin started, Grab a hold of it with a vice grip or a needle nose and it slides right out. Once we have the roll pin out, this is basically made up of five components. The knob, which we can see is the problem in this case and busted off. The actual lock pin. The bearing that the lock pin rides on which often needs to be replaced too. If you have a handle where the lock doesn't seem to stay centered or wobbles around a lot, that could be this bearing is worn out. And you'll see with this one, it's a little thicker on this side than it is on this side. Once we have it out, you'll notice there's a spring in the inside. That spring needs to come out. That's what gives it its action. So now we're going to conduct a repair, get rid of the old parts so we don't reuse any of them by accident. Open the kit. New components. One thing you'll want to do too is you'll want to clean this shaft out just with a rag, take it, wipe it out, run the rag through it, make sure there's no grease or dirt in there. It's good, clean, and ready for the repair. First, we take our lock mechanism, slide it in place. Once it's in, we take our, our spring, slide the spring onto the shaft. Now you'll have to push that spring inside the cavity. It'll open up once it's level in there with a hole there. You take the knob from the kit, put it in. You'll feel it slide in. At this point in time you can check it before you put the pin in. It should pull and push real easily. And you should see the lock mechanism turn so that it's off. Now, now the next part is, is you have to align the hole in this piece this is the old lock mechanism, but it'll show you the hole with the hole in the knob. We rotate it until we can see that hole, see through it. Punch confirms it's there. Take the new roll pin from the kit. This is the trickiest part because now you have to start the roll pin. and you're done.